The classic jigsaw puzzles Photoshop actions convert your photos into beautiful jigsaw puzzles. Begin with loading the file, Jigsaw Puzzles 2D Classic by Panos FX. If the Actions panel is not visible, select Window, Actions. Click the menu button of the Actions panel and select Load Actions from the Flyout menu. Then load the Jigsaw Puzzles 2D Classic file from your hard disk. The actions are grouped into two groups, Step 1 and Step 2. The actions contained in the Step 1 group create the different puzzles. You need to load a photo and run one of these actions. For a quick reference to the different puzzle effects, please check the image list of classic puzzles. It is included in the add-on files. In this video tutorial, we'll use the 72 pieces action. Before running the action, you must load a photo in Photoshop. Select the 72 pieces action and press the play button at the bottom of the actions panel. The action is now cutting the various pieces. Each piece is contained in its own individual layer. The name of each layer indicates the location of the piece on the puzzle. The naming format is row X-Y. X represents the row number while Y represents the column number of that piece. Example, Row 2-1 is the first piece of the second row. The next step lets you modify the look of the pieces. Only the top left piece is visible. To zoom in, press Ctrl plus on Windows or Command plus on Mac OS. You may need to scale up or down the default settings of these two styles in order to look optimal for the size of your photo. This is exactly what this step does. Hit continue. The scale a layer effects dialog box shows up. Click the up or the down arrow key on your keyboard to increase or decrease the scale value. Hold down shift and click the arrow keys to change the value in increments of 10. Observe the change to the style of the piece. Hit OK. The new style settings will be applied to all puzzle pieces. The last step lets you add some space around the puzzle. Change the canvas width and height to your preference and hit OK to confirm. Let's modify the background. You can double click the background layer to change its color. If you wish to replace the background with a custom photo, select the background layer and then select the menu command, File, Place Embedded. Let's try something different. Let's move the entire puzzle onto a new image. First, load a photo. Activate the document that contains the puzzle pieces. Select the puzzle pieces group of layers and drag it onto the new document. If necessary, press Ctrl T or Command T and resize the puzzle. Sometimes, you may find that the edges of the pieces look very flat or very thick, like in this example. We'll use the actions contained in the Step 2 group to change the style of the pieces. Let's run the Rescale Style Settings action. The Scale Layer Effects window shows up. Increase or decrease the scale value and observe the change to the piece bevels. The Rescale Style Settings action provides you a quick tool to modify the styles of the pieces. The Edit Style Settings action gives you more control on the details of the piece bevels. Let's see how it works.
increase the bevel size to make the pieces look thicker. Change the stroke size and color to modify the size and the color of the cuts between the pieces. Hit OK. The new style will be copied to all other pieces. As you probably know, Photoshop doesn't display layer styles very accurately when the magnification is other than 100%, 50%, or 33%. What you see on your screen is often quite different to what you get when you flatten an image. The preview flattened image action will temporarily flatten the image, allowing you to evaluate the exact look of the pieces. Observe how the pieces change when the image is flattened and, if needed, run these actions again. Let's find out how to detach a single piece or a group of pieces from the puzzle. Press V to activate the Move tool. Right-click on any piece and select its layer from the menu. Drag to detach it from the other puzzle pieces. Now let's try to detach a group of pieces. Right-click on the first piece and select its layer from the pop-up menu. Hold down Shift, right-click the next piece and select its layer from the pop-up menu. Alternatively, hold down Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and right-click the next piece. The layers of the two pieces have been selected. Drag to detach them from the puzzle. Let's detach a few more pieces. If you have Photoshop CC, you can use the faux 3D action to apply a 3D style to the pieces. Let's modify the default style settings. Hit continue and change the scale value to modify the degree of the extrusion. Observe the change to the thickness of the puzzle pieces. Hit OK to continue to the next step. Click inside the global light circle to change the extrusion angle. Observe how your changes affect the look of the pieces. Hit OK to confirm. The last step of the action gives you even more control over the extrusion effect. There are three different drop shadow styles. The first one defines the color of the extrusion. You can change the opacity of the third drop shadow style to your preference. You can also try to tweak the other parameters. You can run the faux 3D action again. That's it. We converted the photo into an awesome jigsaw puzzle.